You've heard the win. There's some evidence of it at Delphus Jefferson. Jeff Katz going out of conference, taking on Evergreen Vikings ball first. Quarterback keeper Kurt Wallenhop drops Nick Etu for the loss, which set up a punt. Jefferson's first play from scrimmage, Jay Stockwell back in the lineup for the Jeff Katz finds. Mike Klein makes the catch and runs away. A 53-yard touchdown, 7-0 Jefferson early in the first quarter. Jeff Katz D playing big. E2, the keeper, but Warren Pauling drops him for the loss. Jefferson would take over. Facing fourth and left, their own 38. They're going for it. Stockwell finds Klein once again. Another first down. Brought down at the 11-yard line, but after a penalty, it's third and 20. Stockwell to Hunter Binkley, short of the first down. So Jefferson would turn it over on downs. The Vikings deep in their own territory on a third and 10. E2's going to keep it, and Binkley is there for the tackle. Jefferson, great field position. Stockwell looking for Taylor Talbum, but Peyton Willman comes up with the pass breakup. Once again, Jefferson turns it over and downs deep in their own territory. Viking ball at their five-yard line, pass deflected, and Drew Reese is there for the interception in the end zone. 14-0 Jefferson in front. The Jeff Cats go on to win easily, 49-16 the final score. So let's look at the NWC standings. Right now, you got three teams with one loss apiece, Spencerville, Jefferson, and Crestview. Of course, the Jeff Cats and Bearcats will play in two weeks. Crestview, they've got to play Grove and Paulding yet. We won't have a three-way tie for first, most likely, but it's very likely we're going to have a two-way tie atop the NWC standings. Well, WBL and Maction still to come.